Collections are like tables in a database. You can access your collections in the CMS area over here. And here you have some collections that are part of this theme. If you want to create a new one, hit the plus button here. Click New or Sample. And you can use the sample data, for example, for blog posts, for people, and categories. Let's use People. Now, if you hover over a collection, you can use these three dots to rename or delete a whole collection. Then you have the collection over here with the name, the photo, email address, phone number fields. And you can add a new field by using this plus button here. Name the field and then choose the type of field it should be. You can have a default value and hit Create once you're done. I'm going to click Cancel. If you click one of the items, you can edit it. You can change the slug here, give it a name, change the photo or add a photo, email address, phone number. Using these three dots, you can delete that specific item, discard changes, or save changes here. I'm going to discard. You can import a database. It's a CSV files. Browse files and cancel if you don't want to use it. Then the fields are here. These are the fields you can see and you can select the fields you can see over here. You can also hide all the fields or show all the fields or search for a field by using the search field here. Refresh the data. Sometimes this is good if you have a connection to an external source. And that's it. Now let's look at what we have in this template. We have works here and we have a name. It's a vertical, the image, the branding. And the way it is used is if you go to the canvas here, you can build out your collection so it is seen here by using blocks. So here's the works section, then there's a container, then there's a header, layout, and in the layout you have a block that if you click and go to the settings, you will see that it is connected to the works collection. Then the designer created a block inside that other block that is connected to the collection added an image here, and added text here. Then they clicked each one of these, for example, the image, and in the settings, they binded it to the image. The text, they binded it to, this is just a text box, so let's, like, let's click an actual text. They also binded it to the text field of the works collection. And if you change it here or change it in the collection, it will change in both places. So let's go to the vertical. Let's change this to horizontal. You can edit it here too for the URL, but I'm just going to leave it as is. Hit Save. And if you go to the collections, to the canvas here, you'll see that it also changed from vertical to horizontal. Now I'm going to double click this. I get the same side panel here. I can ch change it back vertical, hit save. And there you go. It's a vertical here. And if you go back to that specific collection, works, there it is. It's vertical again. So these are the basics. I will go deeper in other videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.